Hello students, I am here with the summary of Flamingo's chapter Indigo, written by Louis Fisher. Dear students, here is the introduction of the chapter Indigo. Indigo is the story of how Gandhiji decided to urge the departure of the Britishers from our motherland. The chapter is an excerpt from Louis Fisher's book, The Life of Mahatma Gandhi. In Indigo, Louis Fisher describes how Mahatma Gandhi took up the cause of the poor peasants of Champaran in 1916. The events and facts in the chapter help the reader understand the method of Gandhian activism very clearly. Let's, uh, let's discuss the uh, summary notes of the chapter Indigo. The idea of the departure of the British, Gandhiji tells here, Louis Fisher, when the idea of the departure of the British came in his mind, it was in 1917, Gandhiji had gone the December 1916 annual convention of the Indian National Congress in Lucknow. A poor peasant, means a farmer came up to him. He was Rajkumar Shukla. He was from Champaran. He wanted Gandhiji to come to his district. Gandhiji had never heard of the place. Which place? Champaran. It was near the kingdom of Nepal in Bihar. So it is in the north, uh, northwestern part in Bihar. Uh, generally we say that uh, eastern uh, Champaran and western Champaran. Shukla was a sharecropper. So here a sharecropper, a tenant farmer who gives a part of each crops as rent. Shukla was resolute, means very determined. Rajkumar Shukla was illiterate but resolute. Resolute means very determined and he had come to the Congress session to complain against the injustice of the landlord system in Bihar. Gandhiji had an appointment in Kanpur and had to go to other parts of India as well. He could not accompany uh, Shukla uh, to go uh, his district. Uh, Shukla accompanied him everywhere but Shukla as I told you that he was quite resolute and he, he even followed him to the ashram. In Ahmedabad, he begged, he started begging, requesting Gandhiji to fix a date. Gandhiji was impressed with Shukla's determination. Here the writer has used the word tenacity. Tenacity means determination. He asked Shukla to meet him in Calcutta and take him from there. In Calcutta, he waited till Gandhiji was free. Then the two boarded a train for Patna and there Shukla led him to the house of a lawyer named Rajender Prasad. Rajender Prasad was a very prominent uh, lawyer at that time and who later became the president of Congress and of India. Now in Mujaffarpur, Gandhiji decided to go first to Mujaffarpur and that was on the route of uh, uh, Champaran. He wanted to obtain complete information about conditions in Champaran. Professor J.B. Kriplani waited for Gandhiji at the station with a large body of his student. He was a professor in an art college. Gandhiji stayed for two days in the home of Professor Malkani Deer. The news of Gandhi's arrival spread quickly through Mujaffarpur and then to Champaran. Sharecroppers from Champaran arrived on foot to meet their champion. They did not know much about Mahatma Gandhi. They knew only that their new leader and who had come to solve their problem. And they were in large number to meet Gandhiji. 
Mujaffarpur lawyers called on Gandhi ji to brief him to describe the case of the uh, sharecroppers. Gandhi ji chided when Gandhi ji came to know that they uh, took uh, money uh, from these poor uh, peasants. So he chided means he scolded them for collecting huge fees from the poor sharecroppers. English landlords of Champaran. Now the condition of the uh, Champaran. Most of the arable land, arable means uh, that land suitable for farming in Champaran was owned by Englishmen. So they were the landlords. Indian tenants, okay, so uh, worked on the land. At the same time, Germany had developed synthetic uh, indigo. So synthetic here means chemical based or artificial indigo. Therefore, they obtained a new agreements from the sharecroppers. Now there was no demand of indi indigo in the European market and moreover the English people, those who took this indigo to Manchester for the cloth. Okay, to dye the cloth, indigo is a plant and that is a blue dye, we say that. They were to pay to the landlords compensation. <coughs> compensation means payments. For being released means the landlord said to the uh, sharecropper that they could release them from the 15% that arrangement. According to the previous agreement, English landlords compelled, compelled means forced all tenants to plan 15% of their land with indigo. They had to and they had to surrender the whole indigo crop to the landlords as rent. Those who opposed were tortured by their hired bullies. Meanwhile, the illiterate peasants, they came to know uh, about that artificial, the syn synthetic indigo and they saw through the trick of the landlords. They were now not ready to pay the compensation and those who had signed the agreement to give the compensation, they wanted their money back. Gandhiji received a summon to appear in court. Gandhiji met the secretary of the British Landlords Association, but he did not give him any information and he told that Gandhiji was an outsider and he could not give him the information about that, uh, this uh, sharecropper's problem. Gandhiji met the commissioner and he only bullied him and advised him to leave the place. Gandhiji did not leave. He proceeded to Motihari, the capital of Champaran. A huge crowd greeted Gandhi at the station. A peasant had been at the same time, meanwhile, a peasant had been maltreated. Means he was threatened, he was beaten in a nearby village and Gandhi went there on the back of an elephant. Gandhi was asked to return to the town. He was served with an official notice to quit Champaran immediately. Gandhiji made it clear that he would disobey the order. So Gandhi received a summon, a call from, by the court to appear in court in the next day. All night Gandhi remains, rem, rem, remained awake. He wired a full report to the viceroy. So Viceroy was the very uh, authoritative person at that time. He was a representative of the Queen Victoria. The next morning, thousands of peasants demonstrator, demonstrated to support Gandhi. It was the beginning of their liberation from fear of the British. The officials felt helpless and Gandhi helped them to regulate the... Even they were so confused, they got the help of Gandhi to regulate the crowd, to control the crowd. The first time in Indian history, it was a time when the poor people, poor peasants, they had no fear of Britishers. Okay. The voice of conscience. The government was baffled. The authorities wanted to postpone the trial. Gandhi protested against the delay. Gandhi told them that he was he was guilty. Okay. Gandhi told the court that he was involved in a conflict of duties. It was his duty not to set a bed. Here Gandhiji told them that he did not want to set a bad example as a lawbreaker. But on the other hand, he was to do justice to thousands of poor sharecroppers. 
he disregarded order to leave to leave that champaran gandhi ji had full respect for lawful authority but in the end he heard the voice of his conscience the court did not deliver the judgment for several days and meanwhile gandhi was allowed to remain at liberty battle of champaran won that is very important rajender prasad and many other prominent lawyers had arrived from bihar they conferred with gandhi ji means they discussed the matter what would they do if gandhi was sent to jail the lawyers finally had uh, decided to follow him into jail and here gandhi exclaimed the battle of champaran is won because now gandhi ji had the help of the all the prominent lawyers also they were ready to cooperate gandhi on that issue the issue of to solving the problem of share croppers now he says the battle of champaran is won several days later the lieutenant governor of the province ordered the case to be dropped the civil disobedience movement had won for the first time in modern india commission of inquiry gandhi ji had four interviews with the lieutenant governor he appointed an official commission of inquiry into indigo share copper situation gandhi ji was the sole he was the only representative from the side of peasants he remained in champaran for more than 7 months there were many evidences against the landlords the injustice wo- had been going down by the landlords uh, to the towards the poor peasants they had illegally extorted money from the share croppers gandhi ji asked for 50% the compensation the planters offered to refund only 25% refund and gandhi ji agreed this was quite shocking but gandhi ji wanted any how to break this dead law okay so dead law here means a situation in which no progress can be uh, can be made so they these landlords they deliberately wanted to delay this matter but gandhi ji any how wanted to uh, break this dead law and he was agreed to have 25% of the uh, refund social work work in champaran gandhi ji saw after that the problem was solved gandhi ji saw the cultural and social backwardness in the champaran villages he wanted to do something about it immediately madhav desai and narhari parik two young men joined gandhi as disciples here means his followers even their wives volunteered for the work Many more came from Bombay, Pune, and other distant part of India. Gandhi's son Devdas also joined them. Primary schools were opened in six villages, and Kasturba Gandhi taught cleanliness and sanitation to the poor villagers. Now, Champaran episode proved a turning point in Gandhi's life. the champaran episode was a turning point in gandhi's life how it didn't begin as an act of defiance it it did it doesn't mean that gandhi only disobeyed the order it was an attempt to alleviate the distress of the poor peasants gandhi tried to mold a new free indian he wanted him to stand on his own feet and thus make india free some people wanted c f andrews he was a pacifist to stay in champaran and help them but gandhi opposed it this idea he did not want to have any englishman in there in his fight this this could be showed their weakness the indians weakness he did not want that indian should take the help of an englishman in their own struggle for freedom in this way gandhi taught them the lesson the self reliant means the self reliance means the uh, gandhi ji uh, re- um, made uh, wanted to make the indians reliable okay so self belief on them dear students this chapter gives you a great message patience perseverance and determination can ha- can help one 
overcome all odds and adversities means difficulties while managing crisis one should focus on the solution rather than the problem apart from it one should learn to be self reliant instead of looking for shoulders to lean upon so upon so this lesson taught by gandhi ji to the people of india when they were fighting against the british injustice okay the rule british rules okay thank you